Hey guys, so I think we can say the golden age of TCG investment is over. There is no such thing as the free tendies or the 69, 69, right? There have been multiple products that Alpha Investment has sold that have not aged well. Uh, Monarch First Edition and obviously Nightfall, or probably from MetaZoo, is probably one of the. I mean, if you bought $8,200 of that, you are probably never going to collect again. And you probably should never collect again because you are a terrible collector. Now, recently, Alpha Investments has said that he's very disappointed in MetaZoo. He's contacted the owner of MetaZoo via text and not received anything back in some time. He's expressed disappointment. He's expressed fear that the Hello Kitty set is the end of MetaZoo. And he doesn't he actually see a future for MetaZoo. So he smartly, before he made this video, he was making a video saying MetaZoo to the moon. And selling the MetaZoo crown kit. Uh, he had his own promos that his son and family made. Um, and yeah, he was offloading those for $350 a kit. And I'm positive that many of them included old boxes he couldn't get rid of. So, without confidence in MetaZoo, they lost their biggest supporter. And this is obviously a nightmare. It's going to be a nightmare for MetaZoo. Flesh and Blood, they basically said, local game stores rallied together and said, No, this guy is undercutting us. Why would you let him do this? We are the backbone of your game. We are the one with the lights on. We are the one holding the tournaments. We are the ones, you know, none of us have special player mats or code foils or promos. And... They were right, and they gave in to the game stores, and they, rightfully so, I think, decided that these game stores needed to get the support they did, and they talked to Rudy. Rudy didn't like the message they were saying, and he basically they were saying, do not undercut these game stores anymore, Rudy. And, yeah, that's, and I guess Rudy is going to offload his flesh and blood. I might be interested in Flesh and Blood. It is a relatively affordable game, from what I can tell, from first of this and Monarch box boxes. The price seems pretty reasonable. And I don't know. Uh, does it really have legs? Is it the next Magic the Gathering? No. It is not the next Magic the Gathering. But, um, that being said, the first step was to get rid of Rudy. Um, as a game store, I can tell you that Rudy is really bad for game stores. I don't know... Now, Rudy always, it's really interesting, right? Because he's blaming the game store for getting rid of him, which they did. Um, I, I have no doubt that's actually what the timeline and what happened was what Rudy described. But Rudy always says, oh, game stores. I care about game stores. I care about game stores. He's been undercutting game stores since his existence. Like, you do know if you buy a few boxes from Rudy and you pay his Patreon membership fee, that you're not going to buy a few boxes from your game store. Don't tell me you will because I know you won't. I know that you're, if you say you will, you're a liar. You only have so much disposable income. And that's the problem, right? It's only, it's kind of like, hey, you want to you wanna give all your money to OnlyFans. But then you want to go to your local stripper club, strip club, and with no money. They're going to kick you the motherfucking out, man. Like, who else would do that? Like, you know, only in Magic the Gathering or these games would people do something like that. I mean, that's my analogy. I'm going to live or die by it. I think like, I just made it up on the spot. I think it's a fantastic analogy. Let's imagine you have $400 of disposable income. And you spent the $400 on OnlyFans for, you know, nudes. And then you go to a local a strip club, right? And you got no money. The... No, they're going to kick you out real fast, okay? That's what it is, right? So you spend all your money with this dude online. Then you go to your local game store with your new cards and your box openings. At the, the game store should kick you out, and I, I think it, they should. You know, because you don't... Um, so my niece's... No, my girlfriend's nephew is having a really good time at his local game store, but he supports it, right? Uh, he plays there, he's having a good time, he's doing some type of Yu-Gi-Oh tournament, we'll probably see him soon, right, for the TCG Con, assuming they send me my free tickets like they said they would. Um, I don't even know how I'm getting free tickets, they just said that it was sending it, I was like, okay, cool, thank you. Maybe I should check my email. 
I think they sent him an email? No, I probably spam blocked them. I think that's what happened. Anyway, back to my point, man. Like, I, I don't understand. I have no idea how anyone could think this is a good idea, guys. It, it, it's exactly like, you might, Mike, dude, I love, I love that analogy, man. I really love that analogy. It's like you spent all your money on, it's like you spent your, all your money on the OnlyFans app. And then you went to the strip club and you wanted to have some action there and you didn't have any money left. Well, get the F out, my dude. Get the F out because your money, well, you don't even have money. I was going to say your money ain't no good here, but <laughs> that's not true. Um, that's Alpha Investment in a nutshell. Everyone's like, oh, he's saving the local. How is he exactly saving a local game store by undercutting them? Like, do you realize that, that so many local game stores hate Rudy? That they got him banned from a game where he has his own card. Like, you know, that's got to be a tough conversation. The flesh and blood owner who sat there, who's interviewed him. Who, he loves Rudy. Um, you know, it went from, oh, you no longer get exclusive playmats, Rudy. And now you no longer get your exclusive cards. And there's no more promos of Rudy Chan. And, and, and so on, right? And he was burning his own promos at one time because they're all really good fun and games. Yeah, if you want your game to survive, you can't align with this guy long term because every game store will just rally against him. Like I don't think that's I don't I don't think people understand what he's done to game stores. He's probably bankrupt a bunch of them, and people go, "Oh no, it's your own fault, probably, probably." No, man, because it's a different model, but you undercut it. Like right, you gave him a good discount. Like I mean, let's imagine I'm a game store. I'm buying Hello Kitty for seventy. He's getting it for ten dollars. And he's selling for twenty. Like, what? What do you want me to do? Like, what do you want me to say? Like, how am I? How am I going to compete? I'm not going to compete, and therefore, I'm not going to carry your stupid product because there are a million different other products begging to be be on your shelves in my game space. Right, Locana. I got uh, One Piece. I got Digimon. I got, God forbid, Magic. Right, but yeah, there's so many new card games that are Weiss. You know, the Bushy Road. When I had a game store, Bushy Road used to send like tons. I'll show you the promos. They used to send like these packs of 100 promos. Like it's ridiculous what Bushy Road used to send us. Like just like, <laughs> like they, they, we'd order like two boxes for them and they were sending us like another bigger. And then they were sending us a bigger box of promos. Man, I mean, like if, if all one dude's getting all the promos of him, basically himself, right? And no one else is getting in. And that's why I don't understand about MetaZoo. How can the MetaZoo content creators like Argos and Catch Em All collide? How can they be okay with this? You got a dude just undercutting you. And he has his own promos, his own play mats. His kid has his own promos. You don't got shit, man. You got a gold medal supporter with your name on it. That took like exactly two minutes to do in Adobe Editor. Right? <laughs> Come on, dude. Come on. This is the end of investment for uh, a lot of people. They lost a lot of money. Now, Timmy's lost a lot of money.